This is the story of COP30 and what it means for our future. COP30 took place in Belém, Brazil, right in the heart of the Amazon. People from every part of the world came together. Leaders, scientists, young activists, and indigenous communities all arrived with one shared goal. They wanted to push the world toward a safer and healthier future. At the conference, several important steps were taken. Countries agreed to increase support for adapting to climate change. This means more funding to help vulnerable communities protect themselves from rising heat, stronger storms and changing weather. A new global set of indicators was also approved so everyone can measure progress in a clear and unified way. For the first time, climate and trade were discussed together in official talks. This showed a growing understanding that the rules that guide global trade also shape the future of the planet. When countries align these rules with climate goals, they create stronger incentives for cleaner and fairer growth. Another key decision was a new mechanism to support a just transition. This aims to protect workers and communities whose jobs and livelihoods are changing as the world moves toward cleaner energy. The hope is that no one is left behind as countries shift to greener economies. COP30 also launched a major fund to protect tropical forests. This fund is designed to support countries, indigenous peoples and local communities who look after some of the richest and most threatened ecosystems on Earth. Still, the conference had its limits. Countries did not agree on a clear plan to phase out fossil fuels. Many expected a stronger commitment to move the world away from coal, oil and gas. A global agreement to stop deforestation was also missing. And several nations did not present stronger climate pledges for the years ahead. So what happens next? COP30 showed that cooperation is still possible even in a divided world. It also reminded everyone that agreements alone are not enough. Real progress needs action from governments, businesses and communities working together. The tools are now on the table. The world must use them. The work continues and the future depends on what we all choose to do next.